Do you know what this word means? Well, it might not be what you think. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Jackie and I'm here to teach you American English. If you want to speak like an American, you are in the right place. Today, I'm going to go over some common phrasal verbs and idioms using the word hang. I will also provide sample sentences so you know how to use them properly. Okay, let's get started. First thing first, the past tense of hang is hung in most situations, unless you're referring to killing someone by tying a rope around their neck. In this case, the past tense is hanged. Let's go over some of the basic meanings of hang. The first meaning is to fasten something at the top. You can hang your coat on the rack. You can hang your coat on the rack. The second meaning is to kill someone with a rope tied around their neck. He was hanged for his crime. He was hanged for his crime. The third meaning is to curve down. He hung his head in shame. He hung his head in shame. Now let's go over some phrasal verbs. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. For example, if I'm in the car with my husband and he's driving very fast, you might say, hang on tight. It's going to be a very bumpy ride. Hang on tight. It's going to be a very bumpy ride. And when he's driving super fast, I might have to hang on for dear life, which means I hang on to something very tightly because if I slip, my life might be in danger. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You will often hear this when you call a restaurant and they're busy. Can you hang on a sec? I'll be right with you. Can you hang on a sec? I'll be right with you. Hang up. Hang up. Hang up. I hung up the phone since no one answered. I hung up the phone since no one answered. And when you end a phone conversation abruptly, you use hang up on someone. I can't believe he hung up on me. I can't believe he hung up on me. Hung up. Hung up. Hung up. This means you are thinking or worrying too much about something or someone. You are stuck and you can't move on, which isn't a good thing. My brother is still hung up on his ex after all these years. My brother is still hung up on his ex after all these years. Hang on to something. Hang 
on to. Hang on to. You should hang on to those paintings. They were painted by your great, great grandmother. You should hang on to those paintings. They were painted by your great, great grandmother. Hang out. Hang out. Hang out. Those teenagers always hang out at Starbucks. Those teenagers always hang out at Starbucks. Hang out. Hang out. Hang out. I'm free this weekend. Do you want to hang out? I'm free this weekend. Do you want to hang out? Hang over. Hang over. Hang over. This is a noun. It's that uncomfortable feeling, such as a severe headache after drinking too much alcohol. Have you ever done that? I've had a few hangovers when I was younger. I had a terrible hangover the next morning. I had a terrible hangover the next morning. Now let's go over some idioms. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. It's a common way of telling someone not to give up. Work is tough right now, but hang in there. It'll get better. Work is tough right now, but hang in there. It'll get better. Hanging by a thread. Hanging by a thread. Hanging by a thread. It means you are in a bad situation and the slightest change can make the situation worse. Their marriage has been hanging by a thread since she cheated. Their marriage has been hanging by a thread since she cheated. Get the hang of something. Get the hang of. Get the hang of. The little girl finally got the hang of riding a bike. The little girl finally got the hang of riding a bike. Hang up one's hat. Hang up one's hat. Hang up one's hat. After 30 years of service, my dad finally hung up his hat this weekend. After 30 years of service, my dad finally hung up his hat this weekend. Hang a left or right. 
hang a left or right. Hang a left or right. Hang a left at the end of the street. My house is right at the corner. Hang a left at the end of the street. My house is right at the corner. So did you get the hang of this class? Leave me a comment and let me know. I'll see you next time. 再见。